speedrun is back. We are 14, 59, as I remember. So let's start. <music> Five minutes games, Luca Porto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We were playing C5 again. D6. Alright, Nidorf, D6. He was trying to checkmate me, I guess. Now I have 6. And my plan also is to go A6. So, alright, I'll take. I also have potential to go. Knight e4 and d5 at some point. He's playing fast, by the way. He's just blitzing out his moves. And so far, I mean, the opening is fine, so we'll see what he does. b6, probably, and bishop b7. I just want to develop my pieces. Bishop b7, maybe go knight e7. Rook c8. This doesn't seem right to me just because I have d takes a 5 and rook e5 97. Yeah, 97 with the tempo, and he has to go probably back or to e3. And then I have my own tricks. Yeah, I mean, and what was that for? So this, I plan to go knight c5. Yeah, he might have some tricks where the e6 pawn, like take it at some point, knight is 6 I take 6 rook 6 But I don't think it will ever be possible. I have some knight e4 and my why okay it, it keeps lagging for some reason I'm not sure why so now I have bishop c3 and knight a4 which basically simplifies my position and I'll take pawn on a4 I'll take pawn on c3 probably I don't see the way how to defend and look at this stupid bishop on two. Just watching towards e6 pawn, which is and this is the most terrible piece on the board. So I'll take on c3 probably. And I mean this is game over, okay. You try a trick with rook c4 and knight a5. Okay, yeah, I'll go knight c3. Maybe I can exchange and go c4. Again, that lost. Takes. Takes. Oh, I'm st I, I had rook d1 checkmate. <laughs> and now he sees that. I think he might be a bit surprised that I didn't checkmate him, but okay, 4b5, still. But yeah, I just... Stupid! I mean, stupid mistake by me. This is how I don't win, like, a lot of my games. I just can't checkmate when, I'm, when I can. So... I'm thinking of whether this will be enough or not. So I guess just bishop d5 and rook c8 because knight d4 right now is met with rook d4 and bishop a2. And I mean, as soon as I said that, he missed it. And just bishop d5. Rook a8 and push. This is how you win the game. Very, very simple. He should resign right now. I'm up a piece. 
There is no point in playing, obviously. And now, and now he starts thinking for no reason. When the game is lost, don't do that, guys. If you run lost, accept it and resign. Don't do like this guy. He's wasting my time. He's not online. Alright, game abandoned. This is disrespect. Alright. New five minutes. Mason from Ecuador. He's not expecting that national master. Ronka Chess is facing him. Okay, what he will do? Today I actually watched um, a broadcast of European individual chess championship. And, like they were showing interest in lining four white pieces. So let's see, queen a5, bishop c4. <laughs> Just interested. <laughs> So my plan is to go d3, queen e2, bishop d2, and it's, I don't remember the term he mentioned, it was like something like, uh, I don't remember the name, I'm so stupid, alright, let's go queen e2, uh, it's something like dangerous triangle, but the name was a bit different. And it sounded very nice. Because I have bishop d2 and this queen. But yeah, knight c6 is not the greatest move to be honest. Like people play c6 to have some squares for queen to go back. But now this queen is kinda locked. He has no pin. I mean look, his bishop. This one bishop is locked. This one is kind of... Uh, maybe I'll go somewhere, but I, I don't know where. So he needs to castle somewhere. The point is... Right, the point is I don't want to castle short. I'll, I'd rather castle... <laughs> oh my goodness, you see this? The queen trapped herself. Oh, he's trying to go long as well, but this is not the greatest idea. Your, your queen is too far from the actions. So long castle. I'm... Okay, this move really surprised me. I thought he was going to castle long, especially after bishop d7. Why move bishop to d7? Because at this point he might be actually better at somewhere at b7. But now my plan is very simple. So I'll go knight c3. I don't want to exchange my knight for this bishop. And I also will help him to open some files on the board. Yeah. So knight e4, takes, takes, yeah, and g5 next move, just straight, bam, 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 g5, a4 I might even take, but this is not, uh, I'll probably go bishop c4, just not to calculate, they take b3, and some rook g7, and then b takes a2, and I'm probably lost, so yeah, we'll play simple chess. And let's see what he does. I guess g6 is just winning. F takes g6. Queen h8. Oi, oi, guys. Oi, oi, oi. Queen h6, knight e6. <laughs> look, at, look at this queen. Come on, have you ever seen something like this? Rook on f18 on j8 and queen on h8 and queen has no moves? You are welcome. Take stakes. So in h7 I might have some rook g6. Or 
or to play just rook g5. Let's play rook g5. He might go bishop f4 or rook f6, but then bishop d5 maybe. And guys, this was not the idea. The idea was to sacrifice the rook. Let's go! Checkmate in two! Levy is watching me somewhere. Levy, it's for you. Let's go! I'm so happy. I did it, I did it, I did it, I sacrificed my rook and still I can't understand why people think they have the only moving position or he's trying to take my queen on the two but he can't and he can't understand why but it's a check apparently and you, you should resign you should resign let's go Checkmate by force. Great, and actually, by the way, we might cross 15. No, we won't. Because it will only give us 13 rain points. I mean, it's alright. But we need to win first. This is the deal. We should be 5. This is not right. Come on, d5. Look at my center. How beautiful it is. And castle and just queen d6, a4, trying to go. What if I just take and go d4? It it's already looks lost for me. I mean, not lost, but you know. What if I just. So, what if I go knight g4? So, this is actually a good move. But then it's lost. I can go knight h5 and d takes c3, d takes c3, maybe something like queen b4, c3, should be bad, should be bad hopefully. He might actually go bishop d3 but then I just take. What if I go queen b4 and queen f4. What the heck? Guys, pause the video and try to find the best move here. I'll wait. I'll think for a while, you know. Ooh. Again, like maybe in earlier parts, I tried to explain that don't put in and your queen on the same diagonal. And what this guy did is exactly what he told not to do and now I'm going bishop g4 goodbye and watch Romka chess youtube because you just lost because you don't watch me and you resign <laughs> all right guys I hope you enjoyed see you in the next videos <laughs> don't blunder your queens and bye bye